This is our new USB headset, H360, for iOS system. Firstly, plug the USB port of the headset into your computer. Click the speaker icon in the upper right corner of your screen, and then check whether there is a USB audio device option in the speaker list. If yes, it means that the headset has been installed and driven automatically by the computer. If there is no USB audio device option, then check whether the driver has been installed successfully. Click the Apple icon on the top right of your screen, choose About This Mac, and then click System Report. Find the USB option in the list of hardware. Check whether there is any exclamation marks or warning for the USB audio device. If yes, it means that the driver of your headset was not installed successfully. In such a case, you need to unplug the USB port of the headset and plug it back in again. After the headset driver is successfully installed, then we can move forward to the next step. Select the computer audio inputs and outputs. Be sure that select the computer audio inputs and outputs manually for the first time use of this headset, and the computer will default to its driver for the next time using. Click the Apple icon on the top right of your screen and select System Performances. Select Sound from the list. In Sound Options, choose USB Audio Device in the list of Output and Input. After finishing above steps, you can use the headset with your computer now. Let's use Skype to test this headset. When use the Skype for the first time, we need to make a setting for this device. First, open your Skype, find and click the More button dot dot dot. Choose Settings and then find the Audio and Video. Select USB Audio Device in the list of Microphone and Speaker. Now everything is ready and you can use the headset normally. And your Skype will choose this microphone by default when you use it for the next time. Let's make a phone call to test whether it works. Hi Joe, when can we expect the cargo? Okay, it's perfect to use with this headset. The effect is good. 